for lack of effort. So, um, so going into the freshman, I'm going to start with Braden Farf because he's not here. Uh, so I can say anything that I want about him. Um, anyways, uh, so he's actually, right now, he's doing uh, something that he loves more than baseball, and that's working at a dairy farm. Um, I have trouble driving by a dairy farm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but for some reason, he likes being in a dairy farm. And so he, he, he loves it. He's done it for, what, two or three years? Uh, right? Yeah. Over the Last summer. summer. And, um, and so, so he's, he's doing everything that a farmer can do. He can drive, even though he's not dead at his life, but he can drive on a farm. You know, and he can do all the things. And I think when... He and I drove to a lot of practices together. He wants to be a farmer. He wants to own his own plot of land, and he's old school, and I think that's awesome. And so um, he kind of had a little bit more of a difficult year this year because he had a serious ankle injury, and there were many, many times that we were going to utilize him, particularly his bat, and use him as a pitch hitter, and we were unable to do so um, because... He sprained his ankle, and then he kept on re-injuring it in a minor way. And literally, I never got clearance for him to play for, what, half to two-thirds of the season. Um, he was out. And so, but more importantly than Braden, you know, I had a group of kids that I would drive to practice every day, and Braden was one of them. And I think that was kind of my most enjoyable time, just listening to listening to those guys talk about what's going on at the school and what they're doing, and and it was just it, it's just hilarious. And I realized and it's funny because all the coaches have talked. That Braden is just an amazing young man. He's a kind young man, um, and I just wish he was a healthy young man so we could get him out on the field. But um, anyways, he was a blessing to have on the team, and I expect uh, big things from him. He's a good hitter. He hit, what, three home runs last practice? And he ended the season on the on-deck circle, which is kind of a bummer because we tried to we tried to get him into the game and we tried to throw in a couple of pinch hitters at the tail end when our Southwest game, who, by the way, ended up winning the CIF championship yesterday. Um, and uh, so just to let you know, you guys were this close. Um, they beat Mount Carmel yesterday. And they jumped out early, then kind of let him back in the game, but then they held on to win. And so, um, but anyways, so that tells you guys how close you were to jumping into the CIF finals, just a game or two away. So, um, but anyways, they ended up beating Mount Carmel for the championship. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and give out Braden stuff to you guys, just so I can have it and work my way down the list. But I do want to show you, this is the All Things Award that every player is going to get. It's just a little certificate with their picture on it. But every player uh, is going to get this. Um, and for me, it's the most important award. And I get to give out 17 of them this year, which is awesome. 